So we're up at the start for the Prince Albert Challenge Cup. That's student men's Cox Fours. We have University of London A on the side nearest the bank. And we have ASR Nerois from the Netherlands nearest the island, now coming on the right of your screen. This is one that I've been looking forward to all afternoon, particularly to see how this University of London crew does. And they are just motoring out of the blocks at the moment, as are their Dutch opponents near us. University of London performed incredibly well throughout the domestic season here in the UK. But they'll be going up against some international opposition. And it's a rarity, and it's a rarity that we get to have at Henley Royal Regatta that uh, you don't get racing up and down the UK. It is brilliant to have such a strong international entry. We've got more international entries than ever at this Henley Royal Regatta, and part of that is a very strong entry from the Netherlands. And here we have the Amsterdamse Studenten Royal for Enigung Nerois, and they are putting a lot of power down as they come out of the island. It's pretty neck and neck with the University of London A crew. Yeah, this is the University of London's top boat in this regatta. Their Temple Challenge Cup 8 has already gone out, so all their eggs are in this Prince Albert basket. They are behind Oxford Brooks, the best that Britain have to offer in this field, and their opponents from Nearice. They're prioritising their two Temple 8s that they've got, so it's one of their lower-ranked boats, but for Nearice at the moment, are giving an absolute race and a half in the opening stages to UL. They absolutely are, yeah. All eyes on this UL crew. They won in Ghent, they won at the Met, and they were the closest to Brooks at Marlow Regatta. And we know that Oxford Brooks so dominant, such incredible record over recent years, and they won this event in 2022 and in 2023. And the question is, you know, will they be able to get that three-peat? And clearly the University of London, A, are putting down a message here, sending a signal saying, we're in this event, we've trained for this this is really what we're going after absolutely and that margin of advantage they have at the moment is just tremendous from university of london trading over in chiswick on the tideway one of the largest clubs on the tideway and that presence really being felt here at henley Royal regatta and that overhead shot at the moment just tremendous showing just the smoothness actually throughout the duration of that stroke from university of london it's a power style again, quite upright, not a lot of body lean uh, coming over at the front. Very direct, really picking it up quickly. We've got George Lachlan at bow, Ferdinand Robson at two, Joseph Middleton at three, stroked by Joshua Burke and Cox by Constanza Giovini de Girasol. Their co coach is Anthony Smith with so much experience. Huge amount of experience. Smith has been going from St Paul's, he's done a bit with Lady Eleanor Hollis, of course, hugely successful here at Henley Royal Regatta with LEH, and now he's working with the University of London programme. They were fourth in Championship 8 at Bucks Regatta behind a couple of Brooks crews in Durham University. Didn't race in the Championship Cox 4 event, but in the Champ Coxless 4, they were fifth, and that was one that Ferdinand Robson was racing in. So this is their priority boat that they've really uh, stepped on after Bucks Regatta into the summer racing, and that's really paid dividends. So a very dominant, confident crew, huge boat run in between each stroke, huge power with each stroke, and as they come past the enclosures they are really showing their prowess technical and physiological and they have dominated this race and so we see University of London A win this heat of the Prince Albert Challenge Cup and they have beaten the ASR Neros crew